Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to a shattered Wrestling Days. Uh, I'm not sure if you just saw, uh, but we did that massive Mattel Reveals video. Uh, Mattel are at WrestleMania Access um, and they have just shown off more figures than I think I've ever seen. I was expecting them to show like five, ten figures, something like that. I think they showed about 30, 40 brand new figures. Uh, a lot of them uh, still prototypes, unpainted, but it doesn't matter. Uh, obviously still shows you what they're working on and uh, yeah, we've there's some great stuff like Ricochet, EC3, Gorilla Monsoon. Uh, if you have not seen that video, I urge you to check it out because it is rammed. It is absolutely rammed full of stuff. Uh, so there is a link on screen uh, and I will put a link at the end of this video as well. Uh, this video is going to focus on something else that Mattel showed off today uh, and that is series 100 of the basic line. Uh, we only saw like the tops of the boxes uh, but I do have better images for you. Uh, so we know everyone that's going to be in series 100 and Mattel have actually done something quite nice. They've done something a little bit different. It's a Legends series. Everyone in series 100 is a bona fide legend. Uh, so we might as well take a look at an image. Uh, here you can see, uh, I think this is the brand new packaging as well. Uh, the reason I say that is because they are due a change. Uh, it is time for them to update the packaging. Uh, and it would feel like this would be the right time to show it off. Uh, so I don't think this has only been done for Series 100. I think all of the packaging, the Elites, the Battle Packs, uh, the Basics going forward are all going to be in this style. So I think they're moving from white packaging to black packaging. We're going from the light to the darkness. Uh, and I really like it. I really like it. Uh, I think it looks really smart. Uh, I like the logos that they're putting on as well behind where the figures would go. Um, there's even a little message on the back. Uh, this message says, WWE recognises milestone moments as symbols of excellence now etched in the history books of unprecedented accomplishments is Mattel's 100th WWE action figure series. To commemorate the occasion, Mattel thanks you, the WWE Universe, with an assortment of some of the most celebrated fan favourite superstars in WWE history. Let's start, shall we, by taking a look at The Rock. Obviously, we don't know uh, what this ring attire is going to be, but... I would have it as WrestleMania 17. I know that that's pretty plain. It's probably his most iconic match. It's one of the all-time great matches. Uh, so it kind of makes sense to have him in his most iconic look. Uh, as well as that, we've got Stone Cold. Uh, sadly, these aren't painted, but Stone Cold, again, I would have him. WrestleMania 17. Uh, again, I know it's not a great look. It's just like black trunks knee braces, but honestly, he didn't have that much in the way of adventurous ring attire, so it just kind of makes sense to put him in his most iconic look, the most iconic match, that WrestleMania 17 main event. It was huge. It was absolutely huge. Um, it was kind of the end of the Attitude Era, so yeah, I'd go, I'd go with that. Next up, we got Shawn Michaels. Obviously, we don't know what this ring attire is going to be either. Uh, I would go WrestleMania 25. Um, that has just been voted by WWE themselves as the greatest WrestleMania match of all time. Uh, so, put him in that. I think we have had that as a figure, but a long time ago. Um, so, I don't think we've had it as a basic I, I would put him in WrestleMania 25 attire. Uh, next, we've got The Undertaker. Uh, and again, unpainted. Uh, I would put him in WrestleMania 25. That way, you've actually got two matches. You've got The Rock and Stone Cold in their attire. And then you've got Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker 
in their attire for their match at WrestleMania 25. Uh, what you can see about this Undertaker is his mouth. His mouth is open. I think the tongue is coming out. Uh, we've not had an Undertaker like that in the normal line. I think they did something a bit quirky in like a monster's line. Uh, but we've not had it in the normal line. So, yeah, very uh, excited to see how that turns out. Uh, the final figure on his own, which isn't surprising, John Cena. Uh, and I love the fact they've painted this. I love the fact that we can see what Cena we are getting. He's had many different looks. And honestly, this is my favourite. I absolutely love that T-shirt. That, like, 8-bit is it like NES, Nintendo kind of graphics? Uh, I, I loved that shirt. It's my favourite John Cena shirt. Um, and I love the fact that they've gone with that for this series. Like, I can't remember what matches he had whilst he was wearing that shirt. I don't know if he was in some kind of iconic feud. Um, but it's not the attire I would have, like, thought of straight away. But uh, I'm glad they've gone with it because, as I've said, it's probably my favourite John Cena attire. And that is it, guys. Uh, there was quite a few things to talk about. We now know what the packaging looks like. We now know what they're doing for uh, Basic Series 100. We know all the superstars that are in there. Uh, we've kind of got an idea of what they're doing with them uh, certainly that John Cena um, and so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you like the look of those uh, do you like what they've done for series 100 what do you think about the new packaging let me know in the comments below awesome guys thanks a lot for watching don't forget that massive mega video is at the end of this video I will put a link to that check it out if you haven't already and hopefully I see you again next time bye for now